Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey there, it's David Stenow with tonight's Deep Dive. It is October 31st, Halloween 2018. I thought I'd take a look at cotton today. The uh, ETF uh, is BALB. Now, most of this is really just stemming from what we see right through here, where we've got a really strong trend, short, intermediate, and long-term, all point of the downside. The technical rating is pointing to the downside, and the seasonals are pointing to the downside. And we happen to be coming close to a support level that I really want to sort of focus on here. So there's nothing really showing up here in cotton across the board when it comes to any of the deep dives, whether it's the dailies or the weeklies. The majority of this is really just simply stemming from the technical and the um, uh, the seasonal tendencies to the market. So uh, let's uh, first, before we look at the market, uh, just uh, show you a couple things. Here is the uh, the seasonal top 10 list here, and you can see that cotton is certainly listed here as for, uh, a as an important market. If we look at the uh, seasonal cheat sheet, you'll also see that there's a strong bearish opportunity uh, between now and early part of November, and there's a continuation for the next three weeks. Now, a lot of that uh, stems from uh, a projection that we actually have for cotton. Uh, this is a 21 day projection going back to the 30th, so yesterday, and we always include an extra day going back in time. Uh, so what we're looking at is a trend to the downside. So from the high from a day ago to the lows that are set here in uh, mid-November, we're looking at a good 4% drop off from high to low, H to L. And so that's a good 4% move to the market. And we saw a bit of a sell off in cotton here today. And a lot of that is due to uh, the fact that we are looking at um, this support level to the market. It wasn't a huge sell off, but we're, we're basically just kind of sitting on a uh, support level here this on daily bars so each of these green bars represents a day this uh, blue uh, line that we have down here is our support level that one currently is at 7568 now this is just the daily bars we also look at 120 minute bars and weekly bars and when we do that what uh, we come up with is a target for the market so if we should fall below 75, call it 80, you see this level right through here, it has a strength of 147 and a C for count of 5. That means that we have dailies and weeklies and intraday uh, support levels. We combine them together with a weighted average and what we come up with is a strength, adding up all of the support levels to the, the market and the more counts, the more separate individual counts we have uh, going back in time, the stronger it is. So should we actually break below this threshold, there's a, a fairly good sized gap between where we have support to the market now and where we could be headed, which is uh, 7410. Now, if we actually take a look at the market itself again, if we break through this level, uh, we could be seeing some fairly good sell-off to the market. So bear this in mind for those of you that actually trade cotton, because uh, it's kind of an important period that we have at the, uh, the present time. So uh, the projection to the market uh, is always helpful just to get a feel for where the market might be headed. And so the trend to the downside to see how the support level actually uh, holds here, uh, but we'd be looking at mid-November for the market to uh, continue to sell off. Now our systems are short the market. Uh, just recently we got into another short position. We had a second a short position on daily bar basis. This one's on a 45 minute. So we're looking for potentially a break to this uh, support level. So we'll see how things kind of play out here. But uh, it is such a strong trend as well as the, uh, the seasonal tendencies to the market that there's enough that's actually going on here. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out uh, is this. Uh, the signal insights, which are videos that I've created to answer questions. You come to resources, you come down to signal insights, and 
for those of you that don't know anything about and haven't really delved into the uh, uh, the seasonal projections, there's a whole video on it, so you can just simply click on that and it'll go into some detail. In fact, there's enough detail uh, for all of the different aspects of the seasonal trading process. So uh, they're not super long. You can go through them and they'll certainly answer a lot of questions that I get uh, during the course of the, uh, the trading day. So that's why I started creating these things. It's always helpful to uh, to take a look and uh, see us whether or not there's an answer uh, to some of the things that are taking place with the, the markets uh, and trying to understand my terminology, which I admit is a little bit different than uh, some other individuals, I suppose, but uh, uh, they're all there for a particular purpose. In fact, I did a, a, a workshop here today that talked about some of the different pro alerts. Unfortunately, the recording didn't work out very well, and so we'll just simply have to do that presentation at another time. But uh, we're going to be adding more and more of these uh, videos to the uh, to the website and uh, I know I always get a lot of questions when it comes to seasonal projections so take a look at that particular video should you have some interest and watch cotton at this support level and see us running out there's uh, a little more downside pressure into uh, mid-November so so thanks for watching and happy Halloween we'll look at some more markets tomorrow bye bye